morning viewers how are you i hope everybody is fine and happy yes the previous class we were studying about algebra isn't it dear so we uh, studied about variable and the use of variable in common rule how you use in your um, the rules with uh, from arithmetic commutative of addition of two numbers distribution of numbers with that we found some rules isn't it dear Mm, we saw about equilateral triangle that is 3 into uh, L and uh, this uh, regular hexagon we saw 6 into L. So these kind of common rule we arrived isn't it here. Today we are going to see about the expression with variable. Okay. So the uh, first uh, you see here 3 plus 4 into 5 isn't it here or minus 3 into 40 plus 5. These are said as expressions only you can calculate and find the answers okay but here there is no x or y or any alphabet involved in it isn't it dear but you know that variable can take different values so we arrived uh, with the use of a math stick we arrived to a conclusion isn't it dear to l isn't it dear you want to make l with the math stick one l contain two math stick 2L means 4 math stick. So, you, you come to a conclusion that 2 into uh, N, where N takes 1, 2, 3, 4. Isn't it here? Likewise, imagine here, uh, the variable can take different values. 4X plus 5. Okay. My X may be 3. I am putting X is equal to 3. So, it, mean, it means what? 4 into 3 plus 5. So, 4 3s are 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. So, this x I may vary. I can put 5 or 4, anything else. Okay. So, the variable can take different values. Now, you take your book. Page number. Or please take your books. You have into with your hands. 232. Okay. Fine. Here, the expression is given on this side and how formed. It is given. Okay. So, here dear, y plus 5. y plus 5. How I can express in words? How can I express it? 5 added to y. Right? Can you say for this? Uh, t minus 7. What do you say? 7 subtracted from t. Okay. Right. Next. 10a. A multiplied by 10. Right? Next, x by 3. It can be said as x divided by 3. Minus 5 q. q multiplied by minus 5. So, these are all expression. So, we can express that in the in terms of a sentence. Okay. So, 3x plus 2. How we can say? First, x multiplied by 3 and then 2 added to the product. Okay. Likewise, you say 2y minus 5. Please do read along with me, right? First, y multiplied by 2. Then 5 subtracted from the product. Understand? Yes? Do you understand now? Right. So, likewise, a sentence, you can express that in um, expression into the sentence. Okay, dear. Likewise, see another expressions are given down. You can take your book and see carefully. See here, 12 subtracted from z. Z minus 12. Okay. 25 added to r. That can be said as what? r plus 25. Okay. Both the way they can ask you as questions. Right. p multiplied by 16. 16 p. Okay. y divided by 8. y by 8. Okay. M multiplied by minus 9. That is minus 9 into M. That is 9 minus 9 M. Okay. Likewise, Y multiplied by 10 and then 7 added to the product. So, 10 Y added to the product means to this we are adding 7. Okay. Next, N multiplied by 2 and 1 subtracted from the product. So, 2n minus, I hope, by this, you can also form 
and you sentence like this. Okay. See. Now I will give you some expressions. Right. You can change any alphabet, any numbers in this. Okay. Like that you can also form 10 such sentences. Okay. Such variables. Okay. See here y plus 7. I have I can return as 7 added to y. x minus 3. 3 subtracted from x. 6x. X. x is multiplied by 6. t by 2. t divided by 2. Okay. Minus 3 p plus 1. How can I write that? First p is multiplied by minus 3. Then 1 is added to the product. So this kind of sentence you just memorize. You can uh, by saying you can easily do for the next number. Okay. So here you can put any alphabet instead of Y you can put P, Z or any alphabet. Instead of 7 you can put any number. Okay. And form like this. Okay. 10 sentence. This is your activity for this lesson. Okay. Okay. Now take exercise 11.3. So exercise 11.3. Uh, the question is. Please do take the book dear. Page number 233. Okay. Make up as many expressions with numbers as you can for from as you can from three numbers 5, 7, and 8. Every number should be used not more than once. Okay. Use only addition, subtraction, and multiplication. They have given some condition for this. Ex, uh, this expressions dear they have given you you can you you can use three numbers five seven eight okay the condition one number one next is number should uh, should be used not more than once okay then use only addition subtraction multiplication so this is the condition they have given to you so how can you uh, use this five seven eight five into seven minus eight okay so i can use Addition, multiplication, any operation. So, one more you can say 8 plus 5 plus 7. Or, sorry, multiply 7. Okay. Then, 8 plus 5 minus 7. Then, 7 plus 5 into 8. So, I can use 7, 5, 8 in any, any way. And I can use addition, subtraction, multiplication. So, likewise, you can have find number of chances for this. You can have more than 10 chances. More than 10 chances, you can do it by this. No. Okay. Likewise, I think you understand this, right? Likewise, you see the second uh, uh, question. See here, dear. Which, uh, which out of the following are expressions with numbers only? Okay. So, keenly observe that which has only numbers. See, y plus 3. Here you have a variable y. Then b 7 into 20 minus 8 is z. So z is a variable here. Okay, very good. See, see that 5 into 21 minus 7 plus 7 into 2. So here only the numbers are there. So okay, here in, uh, only the expressions are there. Okay, so then d 5. Only 5 is there. There is no a variable. So you can say c and d. Second question is what? C and D only is the answer. Okay. Third question. Identify the operations addition, subtraction, division, multiplication in forming the following expression and tell how the expression have been formed. Okay. So, here I will take some instance from A. See here A. Z plus 1. It means what? 1 is added to Z. Okay. Here what operation is uh, dealt? Addition. Here, subtraction. Z minus 1 is subtraction. Y plus 17. It is what? what? How will you say this? You can say 17 is added to Y. Isn't it here? Here, 17 is subtracted from Y. So, so here, addition. Here, subtraction. So, come to the B part. 17 Y. How, what is that? 17 Y can be said as 17 into Y. So, the here y is multiplied by 7. So, operation is multiplication. Is it clear? Yes. Again, y by 17. It means what? Y is, y is divided by 17. Okay. Yes. So, here the operation is division. Here, multiplication. 
so we can involve all kind of addition subtraction multiplication division in the expressions okay fine go to the fourth question we, we can take the fourth question see here give an expression for the following cases you are going to give expression for this so here 7 added to p how will you give the your expression p plus 7 yes fine likewise 7 subtracted from p p minus 7 okay see some p multiplied by 7 very good 7 p so i could hear your answers yes you can you follow me yes so p divided by 5 minus p okay minus p divided by 5 so it becomes what minus p by 5 okay p multiplied by minus 5 so what i can say minus 5 p or minus 5 into p anyway you can write okay so this is the way you give your expressions okay fine next we go to the fifth one give expressions in the following cases same thing we are going to do so here 11 added to 12 2m isn't it here yeah 11 added to 2m so what do you get you can write it as 2m plus 11 okay 11 subtracted from 2m so 2m minus 11 yes Likewise, y is multiplied by minus 8. Kindly watch. y is multiplied by minus 8. And then, phi is added to the result. So, minus 8y. First part is over. Okay. Then, 5 is added to the result. So, plus 5. Okay. Yes. Then, y is multiplied by minus 5. And the result is added to 16. So, how will you write this? Here, yeah, minus 5. Already this we saw here. Isn't it here? Yeah? Y is multiplied by minus 5. So, minus 5y. And the result is added to 16. So, plus 16. Fine. I hope you can understand. When I am writing, please do write it in the book. It's in the page number 234. Okay. So, by side, you can complete the exercise within seconds okay now you can take the sixth question form an expression using t use not more than one number operation every expression must have t in it so that they have can you observe what is that use not more than one number operation every expression must have t okay first i'll give you an example t plus 4 okay so from the expression use t and 4 and 4 okay so t and 4 should be there so t plus 4 next i can use t minus 4 yes next i can use 4 t okay then t by 4 so i can i have used all the operations uh, plus minus multiplication division yes fine likewise from expression using y 2 and 7 every expression must have y in it the only two numbers of operation these should be different okay yeah so here you can use y 2 7 so every expression must have y that is a possibility so what do you have to do what are the things you can do? You can do any way. Y plus 2 you can write. Y plus 7 you can write. Then 7Y minus 2 you can write. 2Y plus 7 you can write. Y by 7 plus 2 you can write. Okay. Then Y by 2 plus 7 you can write. Y by 2 minus 7 you can write. Any way you can write. So this is the 2Y minus 7 you can write so here see i uh, y 2 7 these uh, numbers and the variable should be there so to make an expression fine so i have used all all the things yes can you observe this yes so
So this is the way you can do it. Right? I think it's a little deviation in the uh, usual max what we have been uh, studying before. It is little different. That's all. Okay, I hope you can understand. Right? Yes. Now, see here, we are going for the next thing. Can take pay, book page number 234. There is a box. Okay, dear. See here. Using expression practically. How you can use practically. How you can... Uh, by reading this, you can understand what is the practicability here. Okay. Situations are given here. Variable is given. Statement using expression. Here, first one. Sarita has 10 more marbles than Amina. Okay. So, here you want to assume something as X. Okay. Here, Amina, you don't know what is Amina's marble okay so you can make let amina have x marbles okay so statement using the expression is what sarita has x plus 10 marbles can i say like that once more you read this first statement sarita has 10 more marbles than amina okay this is the statement given that you are rescheduling that statement sarita has x plus 10 marbles understand so with that we can find out what is x okay that we will do it later now can you form the uh, frame the sentence yes you can go for the next balu is three years younger than raju nobody um, sit without book everybody should have your book in your hands right okay balu is three years younger than raju okay let Raju's age be X years. So the unknown part you consider as X. Okay. Now can you say this, frame the sentence? Balu, Balu's age is X minus 3 years. Oh, you can understand now. Same way uh, you listen to this. Um, Vikash is twice as old as Raju. Twice. Twice means two times. Thrice. Three times. Okay. So here the unknown part Raju's age is X. So, because age is 2x years. 2 times x years. Understand? Fine. Raju's father's age is 2 years more than 3 times Raju's age. Can you can, uh, listen to that? 3 times Raju's age. So, Raju's age we don't know. So, the unknown part you write it as x. Let Raju's age be x years. And Raju's father's age is 3x plus 2, yes. 3x is what? 3 times Raju's age. So, 3 Raju's age is x. So, 3x and plus 2. 2 years more it is given. So, 3x plus 2. Like this, can we do something in exercise 11.4? Yes. So, 11.4. The question is, uh, answer the following a sum take sarita's present age to be y years here they took variable as y so you can take any alphabet that is not at all a problem understand here x y anything you can take okay now listen now what is their uh, question is what will be her age five years from now okay so now the question is take sarita's present age be y so, Sarita's present age is equal to Y years. Sarita's age 5 years from now is what? Y plus 5. Understand? Now, her age is Y means after 5 years it, is, it will be Y plus 5 years. Okay. Likewise, next. What was her age 3 years back? Back. It is going back. So, it is subtraction. So, what is that? Y minus 3. Very good. Now, Sarita's grandfather is six times her age. What is the age of her grandfather? So, Sarita's grandfather's age is equal to six into y. Because why? We don't know. Right? Fine. Sarita's grandmother's age, we want to find out. That will let me see. Grandmother is two years younger than grandfather. Grandmother is two years younger than grandfather. What is the grandmother's age? So, the grandmother's age is equal to 2 years less than grandfather's age. So, from 3, you know that grandfather's age is what? 6y. Okay. So, 
we know that grandfather's age is 6 y years. So, therefore, grandmother's age is equal to 6 y minus 2. She is younger, 2 years younger than the grandfather. Okay, 6 y minus 2 years. Okay, so fifth question. Sarita's father's age is 5 years more than 3 times Sarita's age. Okay, what is her father's age? So, here 3 y 3 times Sarita's age. So, 3 y. Here 3, Sarita's age is what here? Y. So, 3 y. Then, 5 years more than that. So, 3 y plus 5. Okay. With a statement, you are arriving to an expression. Understand here? Can you understand this? Good. So, by repeatedly you read the column, very carefully this column, page number 234. Some more situations are given here. Please do carefully, uh, with, uh, give, pay more attention and read it so that you can capture this. What is this? Understand? Yes. I hope I have given you enough uh, explanation. You can go to the next part. So, the next part is the big uh, question. The length of the rectangular hall is 4 meter less than 3 times the breadth of the hall. What is the length if the breadth is B meters? So, it is carefully given as the breadth of the rectangular hall is, you can say it as B meter. B means there is no length is given, 5 meter or 6 meters like that they did not give. So, you can do any alphabet. I have given B. You can give anything else, right? B meters. So, length of the hall is equal to, we don't know, isn't it? That is given as what here? The length of the rectangular hall is 4 meter less than um, 3 times the breadth of the hall. 3 times the breadth of the hall. So, 3B minus 4 meters. Okay, it is 4 meter less it is given. So, less more. Less means minus, more means plus. Okay, so here less is given. So, we put minus. So, you can write the answer there itself. So, 3B minus 4 meters. Okay, fine. Likewise, go to the, uh, like, the like that you can do the other sums. And you go to the E sum. So, you can read along with me. A bus travels at V kilometers per hour. It is going from Dashpur to uh, Bishpur. After the bus have uh, traveled 5 hours, the Bishpur is still 20 kilometers away. What is the distance from Dashpur to um, Bishpur? Express it uh, using V. Express it using V. So, we can use V for it. So, here the speed of the bus is V kilometer per hour. Okay. The speed of the bus is V kilometer per hour. The distance covered in 5 hours. They are asking for 5 hours. Okay. It's equal to what? 5 into V kilometer. Understand? Yes. Now, the distance from Dashpur to Bishpur will become what? They have given. Bishpur is still 20 kilometers away. Okay. So, you have to reach it. So, that will become addition. Isn't it dear? So, 5V plus 20 kilometer is the answer. Okay. You, are, you have arrived at an expression now right so likewise you can do the other sums also easily okay so you can take the book uh, in your book you have this uh, second one change the following statement using the expression into statement in ordinary language so ordinary it is given in little um, complicated you can uh, say it in an ordinary statement how you can say it okay um, you can write the answer when I say, okay. Uh, a sum, a notebook cost rupees P. A book cost rupees 3P, okay. How will you say this in the ordinary statement? A book cost 3 times the cost of a notebook. Okay, it's an ordinary language you can say. Understand? A notebook cost rupees P. A book cost rupees 3P. Okay, this is the statement what is given in your book. How can you commonly say? In common language, how can you say? Your book cost three times the cost of a notebook. Okay, fine. Next, one of you read it in your mind. This question, B question. Tony put Q marbles on the table. He has eight Q marbles in his box. That is the question, right? 
can i say the answer now yes now in this box tony has eight marbles that he puts on the table right our classroom has n students the school has 20 n students it is given there like that so number of students in the school is 20 times the number of students in our class okay so likewise you can write the other answers also okay so normal statement you can all right okay i hope you understand this okay fine so we can discuss in the zoom interaction also no problem Now we are going to see what is an equation. What is an equation? So you are going to study, you are in the higher grade. In the chemistry also, you will be studying equations. So what is equation? A statement that two quantities are equal. That is equation, right? So here, imagine 2x plus 5 is equal to 11. So here my variable is what? x. So I want to make equal to this 11. What I want to put? It become 11. Yes. So 2. If I put 2 into 1 plus 5. Will it be equal to 11? 2 ones are 2. 2 plus 5 will become 7. So which number if I put here. Will become equal. Yes. So 2 into 3 plus 5. 2 threes are 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. So, my x is equal to what here? Is 3. Fine. Likewise, you can equate. Both the sides should be equal. So, any equation like the above is a condition on a variable. It is satisfied only for a definite value of the variable. Okay. So, equal sign. That is, this both equal to between it on two sides. It should be equal. Understand, it can be said as what? Left hand side or right hand side. So that can be said as what? LHS and RHS. That is left hand side, right hand side. So the equation says that the value of the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So I gave you an example, right? For 11. So it should be equal. On all, both sides it should be equal so 2x plus 5 is equal to 11 means if i put 3 to it, it my equation will be balanced for the side will be balanced so that is the left hand side and the right hand side should be equal that is called equation understand the word equal itself you can understand right so the value of the variable in an equation which satisfies the equation is called a solution of the equation if you want a solution for this equation so here you have 2 into n is equal to 10 when it will when I which number if I put to n it will become equal? Yeah. 2 into 5, isn't it here? Is equal to 10. So 2 5 is a 10. Yeah. Positively. So 2n is equal to 10. I can make another way also. n is equal to 10 by 2. That is equal to 5. So this is the way you can solve equations. Understand? So this, is, this will be later taught to you. So now if you want to, the left hand side should be, and your right hand uh, side should be equal means, you put the variable, any number, n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. Which will satisfy? Only this 5 will satisfy my equation. Understand? Yes. So we are going to the exercise. Likewise, we can complete the Exercise 11.5, you can take your book page number. Two hundred and thirty eight. See here, dear. Two hundred and thirty eight x plus twenty is equal to seventy. See here, you have to find out the vari an equation should contain a variable x. Understand? You listen to the egg, next number eight into three is equal to twenty four. Here, this is only numerical equation, numerical expression. Understand? It can't be equation. No. Next, two p greater than thirty. Is it an equation? There is no equal to symbol. So, it is not an equation. Right? Next, n minus 4 is equal to 100. Yes. You have n variable. Equal to symbol is there. So, it is an equation. Likewise, you can observe all the thing. Then, you can find out what is there. Here, 
uh, go to the fill in the blanks as required it is given as what x plus 10 is equal to 30 here the variable is what x here p minus 3 is equal to 7 here the variable is what p understand so you know what is variable what is the equation how to balance equation that is left hand side is equal to right hand side so these things are new to you now you are very much familiar on that that's right now listen here go to the tab of column is given here so here x plus 10 is equal to 30 here x is equal to 10 if I put 10, I won't get 30. So, here we, we are giving variable, right? This variable may be changing. Step by step, it may be changing. So, by trial and error method only, we can arrive to a conclusion. Understand? Where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Any number you can put and see. And then you can come to a conclusion that the equation is equal. Understand here? right likewise 3n is equal to 21 where my n is equal to 7 yes 3 into 7 is equal to 21 so 3 sevens are also 21 so here also 21 so lhs my left hand side is equal to right hand side yes so, I can um, assume any number and I can calculate that answer. Understand here? Yes. So, likewise, you go to the exercise 11.5. Here it is given, asked, right? State which of the following or equation. Give reasons for your answer. Identify the variable from the equation with the variable. Okay. Fine. So, here this greater than symbol is not an equation. You can justify your answer. Here, what is the variable? T is variable. Here, uh, there is not equal to symbol. So, the question B is not an equation. Likewise, you can justify all the answers. 17 is equal to x plus 7. Yes? Yes, it is an equation. Right. Likewise, you can justify your answer. Likewise, go to the last part of N. 20 minus 10 minus 5 is equal to 3 into 5. Is it an equation? No. It is an expression with numerical expression. That's all. Understand? Right. Like this, go to the. Now you take the page number 241. Complete the entries of the third column of the table. Okay, dear. So here already they have given the statement equation and the variable value of the variable. Okay. Now here they ask for you. 10y is equal to 80, y is equal to 10. Will it is satisfy? Both the sides will be equal. 10 into your y is 10 means is equal to 80. 10 into 10 will become what? 100. So it is what? You can write it. No. First one. Okay, likewise. Next one. 10y is equal to 80. 10y is equal to 80. Okay. And your y is equal to 8. Is the answer is right? 10 into substitute for y, 8. That is equal to 80. So, 10 into 8, 80 is equal to 8. Yes, my LHS is equal to RHS. So, it is a yes. So, likewise, you do substitute the value of the variable in the equation and find out whether both are equal. Is it easy? Yes. You can fill this in your book itself, right? Fine. Third question, pick out the solutions from the value given in the bracket next to each equation. Show that the other values do not satisfy the equation. So, here A sum is given as what? A is equal to 5M is equal to 60 and your possibilities are 10, 5, 12 and 15. Okay, dear. So, here the possibilities are given. You have to substitute for M. Which number if you put to M, you will get 60. Okay, so what is that? If you put 10, you will get what? 5 into 10, 50. Then 5 into 5, 25. 5 into 12, very good. 5 twelves are 60. So your answer M is equal to 12. Understand here? So likewise, you have to 
find out your answers which will suit for it so you have to satisfy the first for m is equal to 10 if you put it won't sat it, it won't be satisfied so it is not equal to you have to mention okay so what will happen it will become if you put 10 it will become at 5 into 10 is equal to 50 isn't it dear so that is not equal to 60 next next is uh, for m is equal to 5 5 into 12, 5 is equal to 25 which is not equal to 60 then for m is equal to 12 so 5 into 12 is equal to 60 which is equal to 60 so this is my answer understand here so m is the 12 is my solution for 5m is equal to 60 this is the way you have to complete the other sums also i hope you can understand easily dear so if you have any doubt you please call me and you can clear your doubts or meet in the zoom interaction you can complete the other part of the exercise also we'll meet in the next session thank you dear